Good morning. Twitter stockholders today will vote on the buyout by Elon Musk, even though it is tangled up in the courts. Now, the shareholder vote is one of the few remaining official steps needed to complete the deal. If the shareholders approve the acquisition, it could give Twitter some additional leverage in its legal fight against Musk. Well, Amtrak is preemptively canceling trips on three of its long distance routes and adjusting schedules on other routes due to a possible strike by two of the country's largest rail unions. Now, even though Amtrak is is not involved in the contract negotiations, it does operate on some freight-owned tracks. Well, stocks closed higher for a fourth straight session ahead of a key inflation report today. The Dow rose 200 points. The number of dry cleaning establishments is falling in the U.S. The decline is not only due to COVID, it's been a trend since 2001 amidst other changes like more casual work apparel. Coin-operated laundry shops in the U.S. have remained steady and even saw a rise during the pandemic. And Starbucks will unveil its reinvention plan to Day. The program is expected to address efficiency at its cafes and to improve employee turnover rates. There may be some store remodeling as well. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your morning business report.